Hello, hello. Blartanian here, with an extreme TCC challenge run for the Power of Wisdom, Queen Event Lufania, bringing a team of nine Strago and Ash. Before we get into it, be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, leave a comment down below on how you've been surviving these terrible recasts. I'm using base Camelot Call here, uh, which combines wonderfully with nine shields to get us through this scary, scary attack. That's stupid, actually. Don't reply with a comment about how you've been uh, surviving the thing. Let me know uh, if you use the TC ch uh, what you did for the TCC challenge. Did you do an extreme run? I'd like to hear from you. The challenge actually is a bit different than the ones we've been seeing lately. Uh, instead of just a, a fairly generic no synergy, no burst ban, they've banned all synergy, of course, but they've also banned Bosch because he trivializes the fight's mechanics, or because he's OP, and all burst phases, uh, even for the regular non-extreme run. The extreme run bans use of a friend unit, which is pretty wild. Um, as it turns out, this fight actually has a number of ways to deal with it, and uh, so it ended up not being quite as painful as I thought when I saw those restrictions. I think we've been kind of learning to rely on our uh, friend unit a bit heavily to get through fights, so it's kind of refreshing, in a sense, to kind of stand on your own feet, in a minute, if that makes sense. So, of course, uh, if you've been paying attention, this uh, this team is actually just kind of the two teams I used for the other two runs I did uh, smushed together. We took out the two burst units and have the three units I used otherwise. And uh, I gotta say, they all do real well. Strago, of course, loves triple target stages, as does Nine, because you can do shit like this. And of course, Ash provides the valuable boosting with her enchant, the HP damage up, the turn manipulation, the paralysis and uh, the, the HP regen we need to not die to the orb. It's kind of funny in terms of timing. I I want to be kind of liberal with Ash's HP usage to get 9's EX up as often as possible, but I actually... I also kind of want to not waste opportunities for Strago to be using his Quasar and his, his LD because those actually deal more damage than his EX. In any case, I'm still kind of getting used to using Ash, but she's she's quite good. So we're about to take a bit of a scary-looking attack from these strong beasts. A strong blow. I gotta say, their animations are pretty good. Um, I, I find it entertaining to have them hopping around and doing weird kung fu Hadouken animations and stuff. So, as, as a lazy person who enjoys relying on his burst phases to get through fights, I was a little bit sad when I saw the bursts weren't allowed for the regular challenge, but I kind of understand it. Um, I mean, you might make the argument that at this point most everyone who is playing this fight at the level where they're taking on challenges has access to a few bursts, so banning all of them seems a little much, but eh. I think I don't think this fight suffers for having them banned. It's not the uh, the tremendous struggle it could have been if it was like I don't know. I don't really feel like coming up with an example for how it could be worse. Uh, <laughs> in any case, um, we're just going ahead here, hitting these hitting these kung fu bear things, trying to push them back at this point. The, I, ideally, we're going to avoid taking a second recast. Uh, that was kind of my goal with this. Because we only really have the cam to survive it. If we need to, we could probably do some fiddly stuff with paralysis or turn manipulation or something, but uh, the less of that we have to do, the better. I gotta say, I'm very glad I booed Strago. I, uh, after doing it, I didn't use him for a couple of fights, and I was worried I may have made a mistake, but he's really proving to be not only powerful but fun to use which is tremendous for me if you've been following my channel for any length of time you know that the feel of the character i think is the most important part of it for me i'm still not 100 percent sure how these guys shields work at their thresholds they they get like a brave shield or something they also get like an hp shield or something and of course it gets worse if they don't get to use their recast before they do it but i i just don't actually understand how it works and uh i just figure i just keep hitting them until they uh you know, until they're dead. Whatever happens, happens. At this point, the turns have gotten a little bit weird. 
Um, owing to when they were brought down, and probably something to do with Ash's high turn rate at some point, um, C is kind of broken off from the others in terms of when he's going. And this is going to open up some interesting possibilities, because their recast bar, I wasn't sure of this at the time, but it's not actually charged. I decided to take a gamble. I wasn't sure if it was. And I was like, let's drop Fire's Call. If it, if it is, it turns out the recast bar is charged, I'm, I'm definitely dead. But if it's not, this is going to make this this fight kind of in the bag for me. Dropping that uh, Quasar. Yeah. Below 50%, still dealing almost 900,000 damage. Max damage Quasar. You love to see it. Yep, there we go. There's the recast we were waiting for. We knew it was out there somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and... We're not quite ready to use the Queen's Order here. I'd, ra I'd like to try to take advantage of the turn manipulation it offers so we can try to zero boss turn them from this point forward, you know? So here we go, hitting that Whirling Lance. And this looks to me like an opportunity for us to... Get a, a tasty little rebreak by breaking the Camelot. Uh, if you're astute, you'll notice that something I didn't notice when I did that, which is I just prevented myself from using Rama's par Paralyze on them, uh, which was something I was kind of expecting to do. But I guess that just means we're going to have to kill them without them getting any more turns. Man, that uh, 90x is something else. Go ahead and push back B. Take advantage of that cam call to get a little bonus launch damage with Strago since he refunds it. And we're just uh, hacking away at him, getting kind of low. Trying to pay close attention to the, the rebreak order for the most part, although whenever Strago does this, it kind of becomes a moot point since they all go back down to zero. Sometimes when you're getting this far into a kind of a no boss turn situation, it's important to make sure that you don't break them out of order because every break delay you get can end up mattering. Stubbornly refusing to use that uh, that HP attack. Because I knew I have a Quasar here and I want to use the Quasar. Look at this. Strago, Jesus. So I'm doing some calculations. I'm probably going to have to eat the attack from C. But I can get a rebreak if I use the AA there. And I'm going to focus down A so that we don't have to deal with two back-to-back -back recasts after C goes. So here it is. Lightning Bolt Plus. And it doesn't actually uh, sh take the shields down. Obviously, we don't want it to be taking too many more of those. So we got another Grand Delta here because Strago is the hero we need. I say that as, as if Nine isn't the one who's been protecting us this whole time. Let's go ahead and do a little jiggery pokery there. Focus down B, get him dead. Although, in terms of focusing people down. Turns out we got them both. There we go. Extreme TCC challenge. No burst, no friend, no synergy, no core, no bosh. My goodness, no worries. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.